Could the Silver Shamrock Company have a big part in Halloween Ends? First things first, I want to thank you guys for 400 subs. We hit that maybe like, I think it was like two, three days ago, something like that. But um, I haven't uploaded in a couple of days. I've been a bit busy. But I mean, I uploaded my first Halloween video, I think at the start of February. So for us now to be at the start of March and we're already at 400 subs is fucking ridiculous, first of all. So yeah, thank you for that. Back again with another one of those stupid theory videos that, you know, let's face it, some of them make no sense. And this may be one of them. But as we know, Halloween Kills gave us a little bit of an Easter egg with the three silver shamrock masks. But what makes the masks in Halloween Kills different from any other cameo of the mask is because these ones actually have the silver shamrock logo on them. And the reason I'm making this video is because I've seen a little bit of speculation that obviously with David Gordon Green wanting to possibly continue this franchise through Season of the Witch or the anthology series. Some people are a little bit unsure on whether this is a little bit of a seed into a possible little reveal in Halloween Ends. But then there's what I feel is the majority, uh, part that I'm part of anyway, uh, that thinks this was just like a cool little Easter egg for us. You know, just showing us that there is a Silver Shamrock company in this universe. Yeah, my thoughts on it are, I think, you know, we know that David Gordon Green is interested in bringing back the anthology series or at at least he hopes somebody does so to me this was just a little bit of like something for us to look at visually that maybe gets us excited about seeing the masks again maybe in a future halloween but i don't see it being anything to do with halloween ends or like michael's mask any of that shit now, i know there is definitely it's definitely a minority but there are there are people that think that michael's mask is made it's like a prototype of the silver shamrock mask and that's the reason that like, all this shit went wrong. But, I mean, Michael didn't even have the mask as a kid. And in Halloween 78, he basically just steals it from, like, a hardware store, I think they're called. I think if they did, and this is a big if, because, let's face it, they're probably not. But let's say they did go this ridiculous route of, like, Michael's mask is being controlled by a uh, Silver Shamrock Company. And it's all related to Halloween 3. I think that fucks up too much shit from the previous films. Like... Dr. Chalice in Halloween 3 is watching Halloween 78. Like, it don't make sense. But what I do think this honestly meant in Halloween Kills is that we're gonna be getting something to do with Halloween 3 in the future. Could be a remake. I'd personally prefer a sequel. I think the original Halloween 3 is pretty good in itself. I don't really think that needs to be redone. I think the whole, like, 80s horror is very much so in there and i think they'd take away from that if they decided to like remake it so my personal preference would be a sequel but you know who knows like i said i don't think we're going to be getting this big reveal that michael's mask has been made by like the silver shamrock company and all that shit i know there are going to be some people that are mad that i'm even like talking about it but fuck it I'm, th I'm the theory guy right now deal with it and yeah let me know what you guys think to this theory in the comments below i'm guessing most of you are going to think it's like utter horse shit and just not going to happen which i completely understand but if you are part of the minority let's see you fighting in the comments come on yeah that is it for this video guys i know it's a bit of a short one but i wanted to get something out about this whole silver shamrock thing thank you again for 400 subs i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs>